Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm in the Stages booth with the new Stages L50, M50, and L10. This is a suite of three new bike computers that Stages has announced. Um, now they've had bike computers in the past, so you may know Stages from the power meter standpoint. Obviously, power meter is up everywhere here, uh, but and that's of course on Team Sky and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they've also have head units too. They've had the Stages Dash for a couple years now, uh, and the Stages Dash was always um, a bit of a, a different option in the marketplace. So it looks uh, pretty much almost like this, um, and. What that was was kind of like the SRM PC8 in terms of super detailed from a metric standpoint, uh, but didn't necessarily have a lot of like the more friendlier things that you might have thought like a mapping and Strava and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so this is them kind of, I wouldn't say shifting directions, but just opening up the market a bit uh, with these new head units. Uh, and so in this case, there's these three units here. They've got the L50, which is the largest of them. Uh, and this one here has color touchscreen on it, or sorry, color screen, not touchscreen, but color on it uh, and mapping on it, just like the M50 as well, also color mapping. Uh, and what's most interesting about these is really the price point. So this one here is 349, this one is 249. So this is almost the same size as the Wahoo Bolt, uh, the Edge 520 from Garmin, all that kind of stuff. So in that same, uh, not only price point, but same size. Uh, and this is kind of the same size as the Hammerhead Crew uh, with mapping as well. And you know, from the goal from Stages standpoint is to get into kind of that broader market uh, from understanding those different cyclists there, but they still want to hit that core target, you know, the data-driven uh, cyclist. So all the same workout features are there. And one interesting thing they've added to this, uh, this lineup is the ability to kind of auto-adjust zones. Uh, so when you jump on this unit for the first time, you can set up via your phone, you can set up on the unit itself, you can set up on your computer, whatever you really want, uh, but it'll go ahead and automatically figure out your power zones and heart rate zones for you based on you just riding, uh, which is super, super cool. You think about like, that's a big part of the setup process for a lot of people that may not know that. Like if you have a power meter, you've been training with power for a decade, you probably know those zones and you can set them up yourself and you can do all that and you can use the color zone map things that you see up there, like that's all there. But if you know nothing about any of that stuff, this gives you the opportunity to do that. Now, from a mapping standpoint, uh, they are not having full routable mappings on this, routable maps on this, so you can't, you know, reroute if you get lost. But they have maps that show you uh, your track. It'll say turn left on this, turn right over here. Uh, you can import those routes from different services. So it's very similar to what Wahoo has delivered from a mapping standpoint, but it's not quite the same realm as full routable mapping like on a Hammerhead Crew, on someone Garmin's high run units, on the new Sigma Rocks 12. It just kind of sits in the middle there. But for a lot of people, that actually works just fine. They don't necessarily need to reroute all the time. And if, if you don't get lost a lot, that's, that's probably good. Uh, now you may be wondering at this point why I'm not totally interacting with this unit and like giving you the, the deep dive tour like I would. And I would have loved to, uh, but as Forrest Gump said, shit happens. Uh, in this particular case, uh, shit happens for them when it came to some last minute uh, importing of, of units and it should happen. So basically, I can't really press any buttons to show you what this looks like. Um, I saw demos of this about three weeks ago with buttons being pressed, but now they, they went backwards a little bit. And unfortunately, they just need a few more days, and this is the last couple hours of Eurobike. Uh, but that's all right. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a full uh, deep dive on this later on this summer, kind of a bit more hands-on. And they're hoping to release sometime uh, this fall, so probably the October time frame or so of all these units. Uh, it's really, really cool, and I'm, I'm definitely bummed that I can't like show you this in real time uh, because it is cool what they're doing here. Uh, and it's definitely unique and, and something special. And I know they're also equally as bummed, but uh, sometimes like even the most prepared companies in the world come to Eurobike and just welcome to Eurobike. Uh, and that's, that's what happened here. But still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold it against them. Uh, I think it's awesome. I think the price point's awesome. Also worthwhile pointing out is all these mounts here. So there is a lot of mounts here that they've got for this. Uh, and the mounts come in a box. So unlike uh, others where you have to buy those metal mounts afterwards, uh, not all these mounts, but one of these mounts comes in a box uh, and it is kind of cool to see them do that versus having to go out and buy yet another mount out there. And you can see from these different mounts, there are different things. There's TT mounts, there's uh, mounts with, you know, GoPro adapters on the bottom of it. So you can go ahead and put a GoPro there or lights there or whatever you have, that's all there. So really cool to see them kind of branching out and kind of find a unique thing that's, that's theirs. Um, finally, on the price points that I mentioned, 349 for the big one, 249 for the little one or the medium one, and then their existing one, the L10, it's not quite just a straight rename, it's actually a bit more than that to rename and adding new features to it, uh, 149, which is mind boggling, like 149 for this. So this is still GPS, by the way, GPS, no color, uh, but everything's in there, all like the training plan sync, all that stuff is in here for 149. There's nothing in that real ballpark. You're talking like Lazine at like 160, 170 for some of their older units, but 
that's, that's not the same in any way, shape, or form as this. So that is mind-boggling. Uh, that's, I think that's gonna be really, really cool, especially if you're super data-driven and you don't really care about the color and, and stuff like that. So with that, if you found this interesting, whack that like button at the bottom there or the subscribe button. Also, don't forget the rest of the Eurobike stuff up in the corner right there. There's a ton of Eurobike uh, videos there, huge playlist full of stuff to keep you distracted for a long, long time. Have a good one.